You wouldn't believe how many items under your sink or in your garage might qualify as household hazardous waste, but it's true. There are enough items that the City of Hot Springs helps host two household hazardous waste collection events a year. And with me today is Solid Waste Director Randy Atkinson to give us the details. Thank you, Terry. Good to be here. Yeah, household hazardous waste is a lot of items, isn't it? When it you, is when a lot of items. I mean, it. we could sit here and I can list, I'll give you just an overall view. You're talking paints, latex, or you're talking pesticides, uh, you're talking uh, aerosol cans, uh, you know, just uh, anything that you can't throw away in your trash, they will collect. We actually uh, hire a company that that's what their specialty is, is collecting household hazardous waste, and they'll come in and actually run the event, uh, as well as city employees will be out there too. Uh, we collect uh, e-waste on the same day, as well as tires. Uh, it's May the, I believe the 13th is the first one, Garden County Fairgrounds. Starts at uh, 8 a.m. and we'll shut the gates at 1 p.m. So that's a short time frame. People need to get going in the they morning. Need to be there, but for, you get out there. I tell you what, I worked the first event last year in May, and you wouldn't believe the cars that are lined up at the gate right at eight o'clock. So there's in. a steady stream it's going through the fairgrounds. Steady stream all day long. That's for sure. Now you know, like I said, we take paints, pesticides, etc., but we do not take batteries. They cannot bring batteries out there. Mm -hmm. so. There are local battery stores throughout that'll, that'll take those off their hands. Uh, we pr take the tires, but we do not want any rims on the tires. And the uh, e-waste, we'll have a trailer set up that uh, we collect all e-waste uh, items such as TVs, computers, cell phones, whatever the case may be. So that's the one overlap since you do conduct an e-waste collection event later in the year. Correct. Correct. We do a, a two-day event at the convention center in August, mm -hmm. and then we'll do another household hazardous waste event in October, and it's October the 14th at Garland County Fairgrounds. Same time, same station, the whole bit. So. Do you collect a lot of tires? Uh, yeah. Last year we generated somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, our five, our 30 cubic yard roll-off containers full of tires. Goodness. We were pretty overwhelmed with the tires last year. Wow. And what about paint? It goes to a collection area? Uh, yeah. When uh, when somebody comes in, we'll have people directing, and depending upon what they have. We have we'll have we set up three different locations. We'll have a location for where you can offload your tires. We'll have a trailer sitting out there for the e-waste. And then over to the far side will be where they pull through. and. Uh, company that we contract with they have probably 25 30 employees out there they'll unload your stuff for you out of your vehicle uh, you know we prefer it's strictly residential bringing their stuff not a commercial painter coming out there and trying to offload 30 40 50 five gallon buckets of paint but uh, but you do have a paint exchange where if people like if, if they can... so choose yes ma'am we do so if you if you want to help yourself and and get you a new color or different paint, sure. That's you right. Can, you have you that can, you're certainly welcome to do so. Mm -hmm. It's important to transport these household hazardous waste items safely to the facility. So Correct. what would you recommend? Uh, just make sure the lids are, of course, secure on your all your paint cans are sealed up, and uh, you know aerosol cans got the tops on them and so forth, and uh, just put them in your vehicle and bring them out. I've seen them transported out there in numerous ways. They may be in the trunk of a car, they may need to be in the back of a pickup, and they may be in a trailer. So it's a, it's a great event. Doesn't cost the public anything. It's uh, free to get rid of. Our uh, uh, solid waste district uh, funds the project. So uh, it's, a, it's another one of the ways we try to keep the uh, stuff out of the landfill that doesn't need to be there and free event and you know we just encourage people to clean out and bring their stuff to us and if you have kids or pets you don't want these things under your kitchen oh, no, sink or right. in the garage or you know where it can harm them sure 
Yeah, if you got you know a little toddler that's crawling around on the floor and can open a cabinet, and you got some type of aerosol or pesticide or whatever underneath that cabinet, you know that could be disastrous. Folks don't realize it because as an adult, you don't consider you don't it a dangerous it. substance. But to a pet or a child, it could be a very different matter. Absolutely, and we're talking about you know you can bring antifreeze, bring oil. I mean, it's a majority of pretty much everything you can bring out there with the exception of the batteries. I don't think any of us has a garage where we can't get rid of a, at least a few items. Oh, no doubt about it. We, All of us have a gallon or two of paint, you know, with partial paint in it that you can get rid of or uh, got, you know, oil out there or pesticides that you've uh, not used all of or, you know, uh, stuff you put on your yard that you didn't use at all you know it's just anything and everything true and there's often the thought well maybe this will come in handy one day and years go by <laughs> the next thing you know it's passed three years have passed and you still got it you're right right and some of this stuff expires that's correct so it's a good idea to get rid of it anyway absolutely we don't want it in our water supply either with the five beautiful lakes and no. streams and creeks that we have in our area that's correct, and that's uh, you know that's that's why we do these events is you know we that way people can't say that they don't have somewhere to dispose of this stuff, and that uh, it's a tremendous uh, project, and uh, you know like I said the district is behind it 100%. Uh, it's just uh, it's a neat project for the for the city overall. And in the big picture, this is one of the many services that you provide to the public to help keep our community beautiful. You bet you. Free of charge. It doesn't cost you a dime. All right. Randy, so make sure that, that you mark your calendars, the first event being May 13th at the fairgrounds. Correct. That'll be a Saturday morning from 8 to 1. Great. Next week, we'll bring you more city news.